as please use the hand raise function and we'll start off with matt shardell from kane support matt hey Naz. i was uh, watching some of the film and uh saw you pancaking guys out there <laughs> And just like running past the whistle, running guys backward. I mean, it's so so great effort by you. Um, but I want to get your take, you know, because I know you don't pay attention to pro football focus grades, but we don't have access to your guys' actual grades. Uh, they did not grade the offensive line out very well internally, just generally. Did did the offensive line, you know, do you guys did you guys fare well? Did you do well uh, against a really good Florida State defensive line? Can you talk about just that? I mean, I think we did well. I mean, yo. Everybody who watched the game, we ran the ball well. I mean, we probably struggled passing a little bit, but I feel like we blocked the passing well. We blocked the passing good. But I mean, I feel like we we did very good in the game. I don't, we don't really like, like I don't really we don't really pay attention to grades because we when we go back and watch the film, we know how good we played. So I feel like we did very good last game from last week. Our next question for Inez comes from Adam Lichtenstein of the Sun Sentinel. Adam. Hey, Inez. Um, so I was asking uh, Wes kind of the same thing a minute ago, but just how important is it for you guys, uh, you know, the younger guys, freshmen, sophomores, um, to kind of send out the older guys, the guys who might be going to the NFL next year uh, in their last game at Hard Rock on Saturday? Um, I feel like they're going to be very big for us because, you know, I feel like we can just go out there and just show them. That, I mean, it's going to be their last, some seniors' last game at Hard Rock. So I feel like we, the younger guys just go out there and lead them on well, go out there and play hard so they can have something, so they can have some memories knowing that we went out there and gave it all off Saturday. So I feel like it's going to be a good game. So I feel like we just go out there and do what we got to do. All the young guys step up and show that the way they can do. I feel like they believe in us when they go to the league. So I feel like they'll be able to come back and come watch some of the games when they make it to see the, just to know that we um that the young guy went out there and played their heart out for them for their last game in Hard Rock. Our next question for Inez comes from Susan miller Dugnan of the Miami Herald. Susan? Hey, Inez. Um, you guys, obviously, the offensive line has been doing a great job, but the pa- you know the passing game has kind of, you know, gone downhill a little bit uh, since since like a month ago or whatever. Um, how do you guys help get that back up? And um, and I wanted to ask you something else too. After, I mean, we we don't really. I mean, we can't really do nothing about about what's going on with the passing game. The only thing we can do is just worry about the man up front. Worry about the four defenders or how many defenders, how many defenders they seeing to stop the pass. The only thing we can do is worry about how we block and worry about all the assignments. But the only thing we can do is just encourage the quarterbacks and wide receivers to make a play. I mean, we can't really say much or do much because we don't know how hard they job bills. So we just worry about what we got to do as a whole offensive line to help them and be help them be able to create passes and create um good plays. Um, anything you could say about? Well, I know Tyler's back as you know back at quarterback. And he's had a rough time this season. Um, just to give him some encouragement and your relationship as an offensive line with him and your confidence in him. Um, I just feel like we can't. I mean, I just feel like we don't we don't, we don't give up on him. He probably had a, a couple of bad games, but I mean, at the beginning of the season, he was doing very good. But I just feel like we just gotta boost his confidence. Like we just tell him just go out there and play because we know we hit capable of doing. Just like we family, we won't just give up on family just because they doing they doing bad or they doing well. We just Got to keep encouraging because that's our brother at the end of the day. So I feel like we just we still trust him. I feel like he's gonna go out there and re and revamp himself Saturday against a very good Louisville team. So I feel like we just keep encouraging him, keep telling him like what he's capable of doing. I feel like he'll go out there and make some happen. And, and anything you could say about Jacoby? We talked to him today. He's you know he had a great game last game. Yeah, I feel like Jacoby Jacoby George is a very good guy. I feel like he's a very good player. I feel like he put the ball in his hand. He made very good plays. So yeah, I've got high hopes for Jacoby George. I feel like he can just make a play anytime he wants to. As long as he just go out there and get 100%, just go with Joe can be the best best offensive threat on the field. Okay, thank you. Anything else for Inez? Well, Inez, we appreciate your time today, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.